guys. We're back. I've moved and I'm ready to start painting again because it is a nice day. It'll probably be freezing tomorrow. But anyway, so we've got some glass that we're going to paint and we're using glass paints and not acrylic. So this is specific paint for glass. We'll see how well it works. There's a lot of noise around, so I hope the audio is not too bad. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's start with white. White's a good, white's a good thing, right? Right. At first when I put the white on, I thought it had a light blue shade, but that was really just the lights playing tricks on me. As I painted on the white, the brush strokes could be clearly seen, but that didn't really matter to me because I wanted the white layer to be thin enough that the light and possibly the other colors on top could shine through. So this was the test one. Um, it's not sharp, so we're good, but I need to not do that ever again. Um, this is really a learning thing for me, I guess. What even was that? I put too much pressure. Having broken the glass through the second time, I proceeded to put more white on and then put more and more layers of colors beside the white to create a overall liney thingy-majig that I thought would be a great first layer and I could make something out of later. I'm done, so, wait, let me show you. Uh. Uh. So it looks pretty cool to start. Like this is cool. I set aside the painting to dry and turned to another painting that hadn't started yet because I thought I could work on each layer as I did. And when that layer was done, I switched back to the color fill painting. I kept adding little and little strokes, first to the black just as a background layer to see if it looked good, and it did. So I continued to put different colored paint on top of each liney thingy-majig of color. Having done a lot of little strokes, I then switched to a bigger brush in hopes that I would have more coverage on the back and that you would be able to see through the other side and see all those colors. I did it and it worked, thank goodness, because I would have had to do a lot more little strokes if I wanted the product that I do at the end.
The great thing about this kind of glass art piece is that you can use either side and both sides came out very cool in a very unique way so it seriously would be up to the client to choose which one because to be honest, I could not choose.